Hi, you are probably watching this video because you are not able to bind your newly updated uh, transmitter to the Crossfire receiver or you are not able to flash a new firmware to the receiver. So I will show you how to do it. So I updated my OpenTX in the Taranis to the latest version and I also updated the TBS agent, uh, the firmware in Crossfire because I want to use Crossfire shot. And now I've got brand new Crossfire receiver. So there is just some old uh, firmware and I'd like to update it from my transmitter and bind it. So if I plug in the battery, slow green blinking means that it's ready to be bound. If it blinks red or there is a solid red, you need to make it to be in the binding mode. So you have to press the button once if it doesn't help, it does not blink green like mine does, then you need to press the binding button and plug in the battery. So it will start blinking green but uh, very rapidly. So you have to press the button again for like 5 seconds. So if your receiver is ready to be bound, it's it has to blink green. Then you power on the transmitter, the, the radio. And don't try to bind it through the menu of Crossfire, just uh, watch your uh, transmitter, uh, I mean the, the module. And you have to press this circle once. So it will go into binding mode, as you can see the receiver communicates. Now, what does this mean? The receiver needs to be updated, so it slowly blinks red. And my transmitter is ready to to push the update to the receiver and it asks for permission so I have to press it again. It will be solid blue and this state means that the firmware is updating right now. We have to wait for like 15 seconds. And now the circle blinks in yellow color and the receiver blinks rapidly in green. So now I will turn off my radio plug off the battery, plug in the battery back and power on my transmitter. And now the receiver is in binding mode with the right firmware. So I need to make my transmitter to be in binding mode as well. So I press the circle once. Now it bounds. So there is solid green, solid green in my transmitter. And as you can see, it's bound there's already signal so now the firmware in the receiver is the latest version the same version as in radio and i am ready to to use it and that's it i hope it helped you if so please leave a like here and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one